What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Wolf This. Today I'm gonna be checking out a fragrance from the house of Paco Rabanne. This is one I honestly have never even heard of until I watch uh, Michelle's video, AKA Curly Fragrance and uh, Demi Rawling. They did a video or a collab video together and this is actually how I found out about this scent. Michelle really liked this fragrance as well as Demi Rawling. They said this was a really interesting fragrance it just smells different than pretty much all the other Paco Rabans. I've seen a lot of good and meh reviews depending on this fragrance, like it's fresh, it can be sweet, it smells like YSL, so many things and I'm gonna kinda try to put that to rest for myself and uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now I paid $67 for this fragrance. It was just under the amount that I needed to get to free shipping, but that was okay. I didn't really care about that. I should have really just got the 5.1 ounce. Um, this is a discontinued fragrance. It was released in, I think, 2017, if I'm correct. At least that's what it says on base notes. I got this off of fragrance net. You can get this from a bunch of different discounter, uh, discount retailers like uh, Fragrance Buy. There's plenty of people that have it, but it is gonna start to get uh, less available the more people that kind of I guess find out about it. So definitely check it out This one is called Paco Rabanne Pure XS and I don't know if that stands for extreme sport or something else But I'm gonna assume that it stands for extreme sport, but they call it XS for short This is the eau de toilette perfume and it usually runs between that 60 to 75 dollar range at least from what I've seen. The notes, it just literally has four notes right now, and there's no way that there's just four notes in here, but it says ginger, vanilla, myrrh, and woods. I never had myrrh in any of my fragrances, at least from my knowledge, I don't know that I had any fragrance with myrrh in it, so this is gonna be interesting. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Now they also released a uh, Pure Excess Night version of this in like 2019, and then there's like a lady version of it. There are definitely multiple versions of this. I thought I smelled every Paco Rabanne fragrance, or at least heard of it. I've never even heard of this until I watched Curly Fragrance video, so shout out to them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this box up as you see here. It's a little bit dirty, that's why I got gloves on. Came from FedEx, they did take a little bit to get here. I actually got in contact with um, someone from Fragrance Tech because I thought my package got lost, I really did. Uh, that's how long it took. It wasn't like super long, but it was just longer than the average from Fragrance Tech. That's why I was a little concerned. All right, so they put it in this box right here. They kind of seal it like a vacuum seal in a sense. Nice packaging though, I do like the uh, the blue is nice. The blue and gold looks really nice. And then it says 100 ml or 3.4 ounces, so yeah. And of course, as always, I can already see that Fragrance Net has thrown a bunch of, I guess you wanna call it goodies. It's really just a bunch of extra stuff you don't need, but that's what you're gonna get from discount places like so. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right, so this is the box itself. And it does say, it says, huge fronts on the back of Paris. That's what I see. Like I said, the box seems nice. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it in just a second here. Um, that way the gloss doesn't show. Let's see what else they gave me. Some more HelloFresh. We've got Exceptional Because You Are. They just gave me this one in the other package. This one I've never seen before. Hot V Eau de Parfume. Let me know if y'all have heard of that. It literally blends in with my shirt. I've never seen this before. I mean, I guess I'll smell it really fast. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. Mm, nah, nah. That's going in the trash. Respectfully, that's gotta go in the trash. I'm not even gonna attempt that one, okay? Oh no, I'm sorry. The accessible, because you are, is the for men one now. They gave me the for women one. Let's go ahead and see how this one smells. Just, I'm not even gonna put this on my skin. You think you. Mm -mm. That smells still feminine. I don't like that. Um, Yeah, those will go to the trash or to somebody else. You feel me? I might just give it to someone at my job. They may like it more than me. You never know. The rest is just a bunch of promotional stuff. Let me go ahead and open up this box here. All right, this one is definitely glued on here tight. So that means it's probably been in the vault for a minute. Cause usually it's not that hard to get this thing open. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The box, hold on y'all. Check this out. The box is like velvety. This might be one of the best boxes. This looks really, really cool. I'm actually, very surprised by the presentation. 
I don't even think my one million bottle actually came like this. Now that I think about it, this is pretty nice. Check out that velvet. It's like velvet all the way around. I might keep the box just because of that. I don't usually keep boxes, at least for colognes. I usually keep it for technology stuff, but I don't usually keep it for cologne. So it opens from the top here like this. I don't even want to damage it because it's so nice. It's literally velvet all the way through. All right, so we're going to open this up. The bottle is pretty huge. Even though it's 3.4, it feels... That's a pretty cool looking bottle. That's pretty cool. I may just do a close-up for y'all so y'all can see a little bit more of the detail. They have an entire gradient. It's like a hue. I don't know how they did that. It looks honestly like going in depths of the ocean. And I don't know if that's what this fragrance is supposed to be. Is it, If it's supposed to be fresh or it's supposed to be sweet or what. I am going to spray it on paper and I'm also going to spray it on my skin because I only am wearing like Givenchy Gentleman and I've had that on for like over eight hours. It's pretty much almost gone at this point. Um, that's the bottom. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It's on there pretty tight. That's probably the tightest cap you're going to find. The fact that it's 3.4 milliliters is pretty nice. It kind of smells like somebody sprayed it, but I don't think anyone's honestly sprayed this. It looks entirely too full. Um, I guess let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what it smells like on paper first, and then we'll smell it on skin. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if anyone sprayed this thing. I'm going to kind of spray it this way because I don't, my, my monitor's over here. Okay, nobody sprayed it. Two, three, four. All right. Took about four sprays, so that means nobody sprayed that. Hmm. Just in the air... That's, uh, that's different. Powdery, definitely powdery, like, almost like iris, but that's so different, y'all. It's pretty cool on paper, but it smells like what it is in the air on paper, just more intoxicated or I guess intensified. Whew, it's literally cool on paper. Like it feels super fresh. Um, this is interesting. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's not bad. It's not amazing. I don't think I would say it's amazing, but it's different. It's just something different. Like I couldn't imagine wearing this like every day. This is, it's given like kind of like uh, cold weather vibes, but I feel like you could wear this in the summertime. It's just so different. Definitely smells manly still. It smells manly. Let me check the notes one more time. The vanilla, I do smell the vanilla for sure. The myrrh is probably what I'm not used to, and that's probably what I'm smelling. It's so different. And that's not a bad thing at all. Like, Pocket Brown, this is probably the first fragrance where I'm like, wow, this is different. It's not like any of their norm. Besides the fact that it's definitely coming off. It, it, it comes off masculine, but it also is like this sweet note. And I smell the vanilla for sure. I think it's definitely vanilla in the air, the vanilla in the myrrh. The woods are probably in the base, I imagine. Um, so I'm definitely going to spray this on skin. Let's go ahead and actually do that now and see what happens. I'm gonna spray it. Um, we'll do it on. We'll do it on this one because I know I washed this side because I had washed my hands all the way up to my arm when I was at work. Okay, that's a pretty decent spray there. I know y'all may not be able to tell. And you know what? We'll even spray it. Uh, we'll spray it on the other one too. That way we have it on both. Kind of get an idea here. Yeah, the cap is nice. The cap is, that is not coming out. That's not coming off. Yeah, the myrrh is so different. I don't think this is a fragrance that everyone would like, but it's different for sure. Oh, wow, the wood's coming way more on my skin. Yeah, way more like woody notes. Yeah, yeah, definitely woody. I definitely smell more of the ginger. Um, it's nice. It's different. I'm not good. There's other notes in here that I can't really think of right now. It definitely has this powderiness to it. 
but also masculine and I kind of like it. On a scale of one to 10, at 10 being the highest, I think I'm gonna give this a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 because it's it's different. It's honestly kind of complex in a sense because usually with Paco Rabanne, it's like, you know what you're about to get. It's gonna be this nice, sweet, kind of seductive. This is like date night, definitely going on a date with somebody you like. Um, yeah, it's different. Like, I'm intrigued to see what women think of this on skin versus on paper for sure. Because on paper, I don't, it comes off, it's fresher on paper for sure. But on my skin, it's still this powdery note to it, but it's also more woody. So that's the biggest difference. It's more woody notes. It's not bad though. It's like light. It's definitely not a heavy scent. It's not too heavy. It's it's just different. That's all I can say is just different. I would definitely have to give this some more wearings and we'll have to see how longevity is. You know, I don't have two hours today, unfortunately. I'm definitely about to go to bed in, in a little bit here. I'll definitely give this some full wearings uh, at work next week for sure and kind of see what the vibe is and what people think of it. Um, see what my coworkers think of it. You know, I, it's always good to see what other people are really thinking in the real world about these fragrances because just my opinion alone isn't going to, to me, it just doesn't cut it. I'd rather have five different people wear this on their skin and let the women decide what they think of it, honestly. <laughs> it's nice though. I'd say if you're looking for something different, it's a solid blind buy. And this was a blind buy for me, just like most fragrances, because this is a fragrance that you're probably not even gonna find in the store at this point, besides maybe Walmart. I don't even know Walmart would have this. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see some more content like this. And until next time, peace out.